Good evening and welcome back to Mystic Matters. Of course, we are the Greater Mystic Chamber of Commerce. Good evening, Kristen. Good evening, Suzette. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I said it was springtime. Is it heating up, though? Because we're going to get close to summertime now, I right? I haven't used my heat in maybe yeah. six days. <laughs> Definitely saving on heating here, uh, Kristen, <laughs> but that's fantastic. But yeah. as usual, we are heating up. The Greater Mystic Chamber of Commerce is heating up. I can't even tell you. I can't even begin to tell you what we're doing. I it's can just tell so you. Yeah, I know, Kristen. I'll Would you, you tell us? Yeah, so uh, we've been doing the Work It program, the Youth Workforce Fantastic. Development program. Yeah. And this is our third year. We're going into the schools and uh, teaching high school students soft skills such as interviewing or customer service mm -hmm. and how to get your driver's license. A lot of people don't have their driver's license, young kids nowadays. They don't do driver's ed anymore. So They don't? No, they don't. Now there's an explanation they don't? as to what's happening on the roads in Connecticut. We had to get our, we had to get our driver's license. Sam Lamb, mm -hmm. he, he taught everybody in Mystic. Right, so we're In the 1970s. At, at least show people, <laughs> it's a good thing we're talking about history today. Yeah, it's historical. Historical. Squadrito's package store, right on top. So there is a uh, job fair after all that happens. We visit all the schools and then there's a job fair in which those kids are invited and we put together the kids with our members. And right. the members uh, are looking for summer help. And last year we um, had 40 kids got jobs for the so summer. We placed 40 kids. Yeah, we That's placed 40 fantastic. kids and they had yeah. been trained by us. So right. we're saying when you get a job, even if it's scooping ice cream, do the best that you possibly can. Mm -hmm. A, because you don't know who you're going to be scooping ice cream for. Mm -hmm. It could be Suzette Tebas. It could come in for that oh, and I, coconut she could ice cream on a waffle cone in Mystic exactly. Drawbridge. They know. <laughs> And uh, so the job fair is April 31st, and you can find all the information on our website. If you're a member, you can participate. And if you are a uh, school and you're interested in having us uh, come to your program, then you can do that um, at the website. We've got a committee page. So. Yeah. That's yeah. fantastic. So a lot of good things going on. Yeah. And also um, the Art Festival. I know it's maybe a little bit early, but it's not early. Yeah. Uh, we're always looking for uh, volunteers for this year's Art Festival as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they've uh, extended the deadline for artists uh, too. So if you wanted to be an artist in the show. Well, that counts mm -hmm. me yeah. out, Kristen. Forget it. Okay. You know, not... You know, chairing the art festival for so many years is one thing, but actually being an artist is another. Uh, so one of the best things that Kristen and I love to do is talk about uh, our own downtown mystic. And I think you're going to really, really, really enjoy this uh, uh, show. It's going to have to be in um, two parts. I know it. I know <laughs> already. I, already, yes. Um, but one of the passionate <laughs> things about it is that, we, you know, was, uh, you and I are down there a lot. Yeah. And uh, we love... Uh, the merchants, uh, we love what's happening in downtown Mystic, and we love our buildings, and we get very, 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 very uh, passionate about talking about uh, some of those historical buildings. But today, mm -hmm. what are we talking about? Today, um, I contacted the Mystic River Historical Society, and uh, because they have all the answers, they have a tiny little building but there's so much information in there and there's so much information in the heads of the people that are, are working there. So we're grateful that they are a continuing member and that they're a society existing in our community. So welcome, Lou Allen. Welcome, Lou Allen. Thank so you. you're the president of the Mystic River I am. Historical Society. So you're the guy with all this knowledge, right? No, people, okay. a lot of people with the knowledge. <laughs> I'm an engineer, I know where yeah. to go find it. Exactly, exactly, but that's a good thing. But Lou. I mean, you've been around a long time as mm -hmm. well. Um, what exactly does the Mystic Historical Society do? Well, formally, we exist to collect, arrange, exhibit, and preserve records, papers, photographs, artifacts, relics, and related archival materials that document the history of the people who lived in the area around the Mystic River from the first settlement in 1654 to the present. See, to the present. That's very the important present. because nowadays with Facebook and all yeah, that stuff yeah. and just internet, I feel like pictures are disappearing. Right. And who's preserving the history? Well, these guys are doing it. Thank you. That's a separate topic, but it worries me too because our pictures are cataloged and indexed and named and everything, but what's on your phone today, where does it go? Yeah. Right. right. Anyway. Um, to put it a less formal way, we collect, 
catalog, store, preserve, all that stuff, and use it to tell stories and let people research through it. So, okay, hmm? we come from the generation, I think the three of us, that that is just so important because it's, it, it's part of our fabric. Hmm. Um, is this something that can continue, Lou, with this, this generation that's uh, coming up? We continually get people that call up or walk in with a box of stuff that was in the attic. So wow. there's lots of treasures all around Mystic mm -hmm. that are yet to be discovered and brought into us. Wow. And if you do bring something in, we can scan it in and store it, or we can scan it in and then give you your original back along mm -hmm. with a copy either mm -hmm. way. But we welcome people to just come in and, and show us what you found. Wow. So it's very important, Kristen, because what do we have? with Central Block, block this year? Yeah, so Central Hall, uh, which is what we used to call the Green Wall for 15 <laughs> years, yeah. right? The Green Wall um, is the building that's going up in downtown Mystic right now. And a lot of people are very interested in what is going on with that building. And it's been, I think, 18 years, correct me if I'm wrong, um, mm -hmm. since Long time. it burned mm -hmm. to the ground. And so, we are having a ribbon cutting when that building opens. I'm in touch with Greylock Investments and they're right. trying to figure out when that is, you know, when you build a new building. And um, Fat Face is a new business that's going in there. Mm -hmm. They're the first business to right. go in there. Right. They donate They'll to be. charity from uh, their profits. So I contacted Mystic River Historical Society to find out um, what is the history of this building and what do we have in store? Like this is the future finally. Right, right, right. So you're going to tell us a little bit about the history. Yes. Um, when I was uh, invited to come and talk, I thought, the sec my second thought was, where do I begin? <laughs> uh, and what you do uh, is you go out and look around and see what is available. Mm -hmm. So I went to, uh, we have a lot of our collections in Past Perfect. Uh, Pat Schaefer wrote a nice history of the historical society. Uh, Judy Hicks has got a whole listing of every Judy. store yeah. and by year, what yep. was in there, so you can reminisce back in th yes. as you were doing. The Stonington Chronology. 60s. <laughs> 50s. 50s. <laughs> uh, uh, we, we have a bunch of things like the Stonington Chronology that we had scanned and it's yeah. on our website in PDF, so you can just go in and search on any word. It's great www.mystichistory.org. Mystichistory.org. Wow. Mystic Mystic okay, right there. Yep. Help yourself. Um, my dad wrote a book about the Connecticut Swamp Yankee, and he talks about the Allen family as mm -hmm. they owned the, the building back in the day. Uh, Bill Peterson and Carol Kimball have written some great articles, you know them. Carol Kimball. Google yeah. search, of course. And then the newspapers, the Day and the Times and the Westerly Sun and the Mystic River Press. So I gathered all this information and lots of uh, right. images and pictures. This is only like a month ago that I contacted you. Yes. I'm so it's impressed. Fantastic. <laughs> fantastic. So let's run through some of the, some some of the, of the history. The, yeah, uh, yeah. 1838, Flor Floral Hall. It was called Floral Hall back then. Floral Hall, like mm -hmm. with flowers in mm -hmm. it? Yeah. Hmm. Um, then in 54, they built a sturdier bridge with a swing in it, and uh, the um, guy named Wolf, Albert Wolf, owned the building at that time. And he put some pilings out back and an extension out back. And uh, the top floor, the third floor up, there were two halls. One was uh, the Central Hall, the bigger hall, yeah. and that's how it became okay, named cent the yep. Central Hall Block. Okay. I know, I they called everything blocks because it was like, yeah. well, because it was a whole block of real estate? Why did they do that? They called it like Hoxie Block and Gilbert so, yeah. Block? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know the answer, but yeah, that's what, what we're used to calling it. Okay. So it burned down in 1880. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Number one. <laughs> And it burned down in 1915. Two. <laughs> um, oh, we actually have a picture of it between there. We do. Like 18, the first one is 1865, Frank? Is there it is. 1865. Yeah. There you go, see? So it burned down 15 years from now. No. 
1880. Oh, 1880. Yeah. Okay, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, three stars. There you go. There you go. And this See, is the ice cream. that's yeah. The ice cream's still there. You can still get the ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> that's that, the best part. That is the. It's still there. <laughs> so that's great, is, Frank. Yeah. Um, okay. 1864. The, uh, it was the Packer Allen building, the Merchants Block, the Central Hall. They called it all kinds of stuff, mm -hmm. right? Um, the other hall, uh, second room was the Masonic Hall upstairs, but the Central Hall was a bigger hall. Right. Uh, I haven't traced, uh, what, found out yet when the Allen family got involved, but mm -hmm. in 1873, my great great grandfather Gurdon uh, bought the building next to the Central Hall block. Found that in the chronology. So. That's where that. um, <laughs> is that? That's where uh, Drawbridge at twenty four is twenty four West Main yeah, Street now. That's very good. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Um, that was good. Well, yeah. That's the name of the. I used to have uh, uh, back in the eighteen eighties roller skating. Um, at Central Hall. Yep, up in the top, the top floor. floor. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> In there, he's like there. there yeah, there roller skating. Thank you. The <laughs> right. Fellows Lodge, uh, you know, oh. the band, Denison Society, uh, Leap Year Socials, all kinds of stuff. Nice. Oh, on and on. Okay, this is this is 1910. Okay. Mystic hit by wave of serious fires. <laughs> July 26. Is it Cottrell. the third one? That's the third. No, this is this is the second. Second one. No. Oh yes. Cottrell yeah. Lumber Company uh, destroyed. Yeah. Um, the steamer Joseph Wells burned up. The Barrels Coal Wharf sank, uh, burned up wow. on the 22nd. And uh, R. B. Shoots Junk Shop on October 11th. Now this was 1910. Oh look yeah. at this. So this is 1909. Yeah. Just yeah before so that's, this happened. Right. Okay. So all Not these things are changed. gone. Yeah. And oh yeah. On the left. The right. top two floors right, the top, burned right. off. Yeah. Right. That's great. Isn't On it? October fourteenth, Everett Watson was arrested for incendiarism. Incendiarism. Oh, wait, incendiarism. You could be arrested for that. When yeah. You come well, in and you like <laughs> make people like all flustered. It could be. It could happen. <laughs> You set the room on fire, <laughs> girlfriend. I we guess shouldn't I, laugh. We really I shouldn't. don't know if they tarred him feathered or threw him in the river, but wow. the fire stopped anyway. You know, was good. Thank God. So, um, so you think he was? They suspected they, they him suspect of. They he was the fire. Yeah, he know. was the one that. Did he yeah. own any of those buildings? He was just some guy with matches. Apparently, okay. So that's that's kind of the background. Okay. And if you want to jump up to uh, the year two thousand. Okay. Sure. Sure. Hoses, yeah. flames, yes. fire engines. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh because it was terrible, right. really. It was awful. Half past midnight. Wow. And it was then called the Allen Bolander Building because my brother mm -hmm. Rufus and Roy uh, Bolander were mm -hmm. the owners at that time. Okay. Um, on the 9th of March, they were... A lot of talk trying to, you were probably involved. Mm -hmm. When are you going to rebuild? We're going to rebuild right. right away. And... Uh, the shops were eligible for disaster loans. And now, here's a picture of it in 19, circa 1960. Uh -huh. How could you tell? Was it the cars? Did it change <laughs> much, <laughs> like, from there to uh, 2000, do you think? Uh, yeah. Well, was my, there, like, well, a yeah, second? The front was probably changed a little bit, but... Well, actually, But yeah. it was just one story like yeah, that when right, it burned? Right, when it burned, yeah. yeah. Now, I talked to... Yeah. Um, Mara, Mary Ellen from Peppergrass and Tulip, and she was yeah. she actually had a store in there, and she's mm -hmm. still in downtown she Mystic. Is, yeah, there was Keats Crafts. Well, I'm not going to. Well, I'll give you the that. names: Trade Winds Gallery, yeah, oh, really? Nancy yeah. Shaw, yeah. Mixed Bag, yeah. Peppergrass and Tulip. They are all still downtown. Uniquities, Radio Waves, yeah. Dexter and Company. They're all still there, except for and, and, yeah, they're, they're know, still there. They went to different places. Stoneware right. Clothing too. Mm -hmm. Roughed it out, but yeah, Stoneware is now the other side. Yeah, they're mm -hmm. all survivors. That's for sure. Yep. Um, on June 8th of 2000, they took some plans that Ruby Zeroy did in the historic, historic district. The word is loud. They liked the plans. This was great. Everybody's happy. Yeah. Uh, the fire was started by an oil furnace that was put in 22 years before then, and the duct was too close to the ceiling, and it just got hot one night mm -hmm. and caught fire. Um, on 
A year later, this is March 6 of 2001, Mr. Fire Efforts Fuel Frustration, a little alliteration there. I remember that. Are you a rapper? Very well. Uh, <laughs> and then June, Alan bogged down by DEP certification, and the price was starting to go up. Then, uh, 2002, the DEP permits are issued, which, you know, per, considering a, a year is pretty quick. On, this Ju on, on Ju May 16th, uh, Rufus and Roy went to the town council to ask for some funding support. And didn't get very far, and some people got <laughs> the difference between appraisal and assessment confused yes. and all of that. But by uh, the end of the year in December, they tore down the building. It was a safety hazard, an eyesore, and eight-foot wall. Put up the green wall. Eight-foot wall. Wah, wah, wah. Okay. Next year, May 14th of 2003, council ways, they were getting frustrated. The option of condemning the burned-out block, or maybe eminent domain. And yes. A lot of yeah, there was puffing, a lot of, you know, um, right? yeah. And uh, talk. Property was sale uh, for nine hundred thousand dollars. Cool, rounded off nine hundred thousand. Back then. Two thousand and four, February fifth. Alan <laughs> finds buyer. Remember George Pavarini, mm -hmm. Paragon Development from Puerto Rico. Mm -hmm. Closing schedule for March eighteenth. March tenth, downtown Mystic clears last hurdle. Well, yeah. Like <laughs> Ten days later, plans what? for Mystic Flounder. Oh. Get that fish in there again. Oh, had to. Six retailers bail it last minute after request for furnished interiors refused. But I think, well, this was always going on. Oh, so they were going to have to build it out See, themselves. See, what I read, the original was, yeah, uh, they weren't yes. going to get the open, Yeah. right? Right, that's correct. And then they said, well, you know. That's correct. Uh, so that, that was the end of that. Uh, I think it was the end of my career at the Chamber <laughs> of Commerce too. <laughs> uh, Three twenty-five. The wow, property. So, was that was that the you were at the Chamber of I Commerce. I was at the Chamber oh, yeah. of Commerce. She's, so I, she's in the, she, I was I, I was like a four-term um, at a president. I think they wanted story, to, yeah. to to get through all this controversial time. You know, in the good times, they don't want me there. <laughs> On the bad times, they love it. Call Show up at all the meetings of the Groton Town. Oh, fix, it. Like fix, it. Fix, it. fix it, fix it, fix it. I used to hide. I used to be. Uh, wow, that's impressive. Okay, and on March 27th, the development falls through. <laughs> Owners have a contract to sell to someone else. See, they were not just sitting around. Are these your yeah. uncles? Like my brother. Oh, Rufus. Bro my so brother. you're in on this? Is that no, what's happening? No, I was no. <laughs> happily up in the Long Meadow Mass or okay. Worcester. That's mm -hmm. another story. We could go into okay, that another yeah, right. show. <laughs> April 9th, Alan sells site for $900,000. See? There it goes again. That's Rufus. He yeah. picks his price and sticks yeah. to it, right? Yeah. Poker Flats LL, LTD of Farmington, Connecticut. Now, I always kind of wondered about the name, but, you know. Poker flats. Poker flats. 12 16th, uh, plans move forward on Allen property. And Greylock Investment LLC got in, into right. the act, right? Yeah. Uh, a week later, another plan fails for Allen property, not approved by Historic District Commission. I've had relationships like this. Proposal. <laughs> <laughs> right? It's like, yeah, we're doing great. Oh, no. Not today. Uh, <laughs> and we asked you to come on. <laughs> yeah, well, proposed plan de deemed not historic enough. Well, yeah. you remember they didn't like the porches on the yes. north side of the building. I know. So, I know. So uh, it was go back to the drawing board. Okay. Not historic enough. The yeah. year goes by. Sure does, yeah. Property owners and others speak favorably at hearing. Poker Flats LLC doing business as Historic Mystic LLC. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then we pop into 2006. New Central Hall block designed okay by Historic District Commission. <sighs> well, so they obviously and parking replaced. parking is arranged. I feel like right, somebody right, must have right. died I didn't on the historical. I didn't even get into the parking, right? Oh, so, please. <laughs> That's your story. <laughs> Thank you. 
Um, Parking. Eight years go by. And I'm Why? Joined. Why did eight years go by? Well, Lou. because you well, it always architects yeah, improvements. It's a, and, everything and was just... Chamber of Commerce yeah, was always fun. Yeah. Because the Chamber of Commerce was in the way. Well, we, we were always asked around. to speak on, and of course, what are you going to, you want to speak, uh, you know, for the approval for all the stuff. We wanted to get that green wall down. That's what we wanted to do when we wanted to work with all the architects, but there was always something, I mean, go, uh -huh. you know, and there was always something that, you know, stopped uh, production. A so. lot of people were very patient, I would say. Yeah. Yeah. Eight years later, 2014, July 24th, the opening is scheduled for 2016, so... Pretty close. Pretty close. Yeah, so pretty close. Here we are, and here ready we are. for an opening. Yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you for taking us, us through that. But I do want to show, we do have some pictures, um, Frank. If we really quickly go through them, there's one right there, the mm. central block. Now, when I first saw these pictures, and Steve showed them to me, and he went through them with me carefully, mm -hmm. because yep. the building looks similar throughout history, but you can tell the difference and I didn't include any of the pictures of the fires because there are pictures yes. that the Mystic River Historical Society has of yeah. the actual fires yeah. um, because those uh, can be emotional for people. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you can see as through history as we go and this. there's the trolleys, trolleys yeah. right? And there was um, horse and buggy before that or maybe after that, yeah. 1909, this beautiful. Be, yeah, yeah. Right around. 1927 we started to add a little color in there but see the the yeah. building is to the in the front there so the roof always changes and then the that looks like just two stories and yeah. then this is right. one story in 1940 right. right and one story again in 1960 yeah. right and that's that's not yeah that's in the 60s that's what that's 60. what i remember yeah right. louis the 50s but i remember the yeah. 60s yeah. oh these are just wonderful wonderful uh, pictures. So just a little bit of uh, information uh, back there as far as the chamber side goes. Uh, we were always in the mix of it because uh, as a chamber uh, people were uh, constantly asking us what we, what we were going to do personally. I don't know what we could do but we we're always... we save the we're gonna, town. Right, but when you are the Mystic, Greater Mystic Chamber of Commerce, yes. of course, we were the people that uh, supposedly had all the uh, information and the people that went to all the meetings to support um, business, you know, right? Business yeah, and the, trying to get. Mm -hmm. So there was some. I want to say there were some pretty dark and hard years. Um, at one time, it was Central Block Hall along with the sidewalks, along with the street. Yeah, <laughs> remember that? Like streetscape yeah, and all streetscape, that? Streetscape, and I remember. Yes, yes. I, we forgot yeah. about Streetscape and Barbara Struther. And <laughs> I, I remember there was one time at, you, at the art festival, and I chaired it for over 20 years. I said, it was coming up to the art festival, and I said, now I have to go downtown and talk to the merchants and the residents and tell them that the art festival is coming. Oh, yes, yes. And I would go into, like, two stores, and they would say, what's going to happen to that central block, and then we have the streetscape, and you... And I, yeah, I thought, yeah, I remember I wanted that. to wear a mask. And then I just... But, you know... Lou, thank you for, for that. Uh, that was history. a great just, story. It, just, uh, it felt like a story. I was right. hanging on the edge of my seat. I'm yeah. like, and then what happened? <laughs> but, you know, again, I think with, exactly. with Chris and I, we're, we're, we're feeling very passionate about the show because uh, these are things, this is part of our history. And I don't know if we didn't have the Mystic Historical Society. Uh, that just energized me to say, look, we are part of something just great and wonderful. It actually brought me back to uh, some memories as you, as a, a, a child that grew up on the streets. Oh, I was a street walker. <laughs> street urchin! <laughs> as a kid! Yeah. Uh, you know, and I'm sure Lou and I, and we, uh, many of us could go back. Uh, by the way, Ted's Pizza, it was Ted's Pizza before it was Mystic Pizza. Right. And you know, why do they eat Mystic Pizza? And by the way, BB's Dairy. And how yeah. about Bessie at Bendette's? Yeah. She was always... The bowling alley? The bowling alley. She was kind of grouchy, though. I mean, Archie's, I mean... My, Ar mother, my mother loved Archie's. She's in there one time, and she says, I wonder what time my watch stops. Oh, yeah. And then we had... Um, remember the record store? Yeah. That guy was kind of grouchy, too. 45s and things like that. Darn kids. Darn kids. Yeah, the kids, you know. But I will give you kind of a little bit of history as the product of the Greater Mystic Chamber of Commerce. We had our board of directors meeting, and, and, uh, and a resident came up to me and said, these are the kids of downtown Mystic. And she was showing me 
you know, kids with long hair and bell bottoms and fringe, and <laughs> they're, they steal the they're stealing from us. <laughs> and I thought to myself, no, they're not. They're going down. They have money. They're, they're spending money in the stores. Yeah. Maybe a Keats graph. I don't know. Maybe a little weed or something. I don't know. Whatever those. Uh, emporium. Emporium mm -hmm. or whatever. Yeah. But these kids sometimes grew up to be great leaders uh, in the community. Sure. And I, I have a picture with a headband. Oh, look. And that's uh, beautiful central block. This is the new that's rendering. The new, that's the new rendering. But some of these kids grow up to be leaders in the community, just so you know. All right. And, uh, like uh, you. Well. And Lou. And, and Lou. But this is the picture here of the, the current... Um, well, what you said about part of being a part of history, now I understand why I was so fascinated with it, because I've seen this green wall, and I've heard about the struggles, and I was at yes. the chamber in 2010, so yes. there was a little bit of that. And... To see this actually happening, it's like it's almost like a miracle to me. And it's just a beautiful, yeah. beautiful building. So it's the same size so. as, the, as the original. Yeah, but I know, but you know, you know, what, you know what? Look, yeah. people don't know that. They don't right. think that. They think that because you know what it is. It's, four it's been stories, gone so. for so long. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so the height, when the height, because that was in question too. They were like, "Did you see the height of that building, Suzette?" I'm like, mm. "It's the same height." I yeah. don't understand why you guys right. think it's. Um, uh, but it's just thank you uh, to the Mystic Historical Society for logging this, for taking mm -hmm. us back in time, for to bringing us uh, back up to the future, and also for just being a part uh, for so, just uh, the history of Mystic. And um, we appreciate that. Thank well, you. and Greylock Investments too, and Navarro Properties, yeah. and uh, like we were mad at them for a while. We were saying, you know, what are you doing with this property? But when you think of, or when you hear the story of yeah. the struggles that people went through, yeah. and that there wasn't necessarily anything like people dragging their feet, you know, they weren't just right. But neglectful. on top of that, um, downtown Mystic really has been through a lot between mm -hmm. this uh, and the streetscape project, and. Um, the P word is the parking, okay? Lou brought it up. I didn't bring it up. Uh, but still. Um, <laughs> like people were saying that should have been a parking lot instead of Central I, Hall. Like build a parking well, lot yeah, four yeah. stories, right? Uh, but I think that will always, um, you know, unless there's something major. And I don't know if that's the answer to. Um, but I will tell you something. We chair the Art Fest of the Greater Mystic Ch Chamber of Commerce hosts the Art Fest. Around. How many people come through there? 85,000 people. They must be parking someplace. Yeah. Somewhere, yeah. Good point. How exciting. They're going to be so able to see like, Central Hall. We're going to see Central Hall, and I hope you guys join us, Steve. Steve's in the background keeping us on track uh, for the ribbon cutting. And, and please, Kristen, make sure that the word gets out to all of us so that we can go there and support. Lou Allen, it's been a real pleasure yes, thank uh, you. having you here, and nice Kristen. to see you we'll again. We'll have you again. Yeah, absolutely. You tell us another story. Okay. I know, because I want to go. I want to keep doing this. This is just a great just Great like time. pick a property and then like hear the story. Right, of what and we happened. can talk about it again. I'm missing the little tours. I just told you that. And I, it's now on record. But anyways, <laughs> having said that, we are the Greater Mystic Chamber of Commerce, Mystic Matters. Thank you, Lou. Thank you, Kristen. I'll see you next week.